the f is up everybody my name is kaya and today i'm going to be cutting my hair i'm going to be doing a lot of things it's gonna be a blast the first thing on this occasion is i'm going to be cutting my hair that's right that's right six months ago i did a video where i chopped my hair off got a few thousand views and it was awesome so awesome but now it's time to do the wolf cut are you ready i don't know i don't think you're ready so i'm gonna go wet my hair while you get ready you know get some snacks get comfortable and i will be back with wet hair so we can cut this sh are you ready oh, I just I'll see you in a second. My hair is now wet and it's in high ponytail, just like Brad Mondo said. I know, I know, I know, but I'm taking your advice on this, Brad. And if this, if I fail, I'm coming to your comments and I'm gonna be like, Brad, look, watch my video. Tell me what I did wrong. Okay, so listen, let's do this. It's in a high ponytail, okay? Right in the middle of my head with no bump. I put it in a high ponytail in the middle of my head with no bumps, okay? And I'm going to move the camera because you can't exactly see this, you know? You can't exactly see what's going on, so you're gonna just move up for a second, okay? This is a terrible angle, but I'm doing it for you. Okay, so what you have to do is you put your you pull, you pull. I guess I can crouch down while I do this. Why not? I'm still crouching. I'm also combing. Combing my hair because I've got a lot of hair. Okay, this bitch is thick. I've got thick hair. And it's kind of curly, kind of wavy. Okay, I haven't seen my curls in a while, so we won't call them curls. And he just takes a section and he chops it off. See, I've got a lot of hair, so I'm trying to like... That's good? Oh my god. This is a big deal. Okay. Drained it back up. Figure out where we were. Yeah. It's this little guy right here. Okay. Okay. I have a feeling this was a bad idea. I have a feeling. Okay, first of all, let me just comb this out and see. Let's stop chopping. See? I got so much hair on my fingers. Okay, I'm going back up. Maybe that'll work. Maybe if I saw it myself. Well, no, because then I'm hyper extended fudge. I'm like trusting the viewfinder right now. This is a not a good idea. If you guys are doing this at home, don't look in your camera. But if I can extend it like that, maybe I can extend it like this, okay? Because I cannot see what I'm doing. Is that right? I feel like I'm messing it up. I refuse to botch my hair on YouTube. You know what I mean? Like, this is partially what I do on YouTube, so, like, I can't botch it. Let's see. It's totally at an angle, sis. Combing it up. We're gonna check it out. See what it looks like. Okay. We're still kind of at an angle, but I can work with that. I think I just want to take it out and see what we look like. I feel like I'm chopping a lot of hair off. Okay, let's do it. Let's take it out and let's see what it looks like. Okay, I'm gonna move you back down because I think the next, this is the only part where you had to like look up. Okay, I'm gonna comb my hair out because I'm kind of nervous. <laughs> okay, so for this next part, I'm supposed to part my hair in the middle. Now, my hair kind of naturally does that itself. So this shouldn't be too hard to do. The fact that I haven't had a mirror this whole time is kind of amazing. So if this turns out amazing, you know, you should hit subscribe. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. You should hit subscribe if you like the video, which I think you will. 
So we got a long night ahead of us, baby. Now I'm gonna go to my ear. I am about to clip this up because I've got a lot of hair and I'm not about to have it messing me up here. I'm gonna do this in two sections. That was a lot of hair that I just cut off. Okay, that makes me kind of nervous. That one didn't have that much hair, so I think I may have messed it up. Let's see. I'm already in it to win it. Let's cut as much hair off as possible. Am I right? Um, is that right? It doesn't feel right because there's still hair right there. So I'm hyper extending it to my lip. Okay, got a little bit more off. So that's that's good. We'll have some layers. That's what I want. And now I'm gonna do this side over here. So I'm gonna clip this whole side up. So I think I'm done with it for right now. Now I'm about to take this comb and now I'm about to clip this side up. All right, so now I'm working with this last little fringe section and I'm gonna go Just like that. Probably not the best to be doing it like that, but I don't feel as comfortable cutting my hair with my left hand than I do my right, so. Yeah, there's, it's already pretty layered right there, so it's okay. Right now I'm just clipping up this side. I'm trying to do like a little triangle in the front, like where my fringe is. This is just where I'm gonna do an extra little thing of just to give more like side sweep little layering to my face because that's what that's what but that's what we want that's the whole point of this okay now so now i'm gonna do this side now i'm gonna do this side over here i'm gonna do the same thing i'm just gonna take it and i'm just gonna kind of start to chop away Chop, chop. That's probably the most important thing to me is that they're the same length. So, so right now this is what my hair is looking like. It is kind of just a layered mess. Not even gonna lie to you, I can't really tell. Um, obviously I can tell that I've cut it. There's a lot of hair missing and there's a lot of layers, but I can't tell if I did it a good job. So I'm about to style my hair and put some products in it and then I'm going to check back in with you guys when my hair's dry. Oh my gosh, I have bangs now. I'll see you in a second. So if I didn't already tell you before, I'm telling you right now, my hair is really thick. So this is the finished result of my wolf cut. Um, I understand that I probably should do a little bit with my bangs. So we'll probably do that later tonight when I dye my hair, but for now I'm gonna go ahead and do my makeup. I am going to pin my top of my hair up though because it's just, there's so much, there's so much going on. Hell yeah, look at that poof. Talk about volume. Okay, do you see my curls coming out? It's kind of crazy. They're not all the way coming out. I think I have some more work to do with them, but like it's it's way more curlier than it was. Am I right or am I right? But either way, I'm about to do my makeup. So I'm about to prime my face. I think I changed my mind on the clip. I'm gonna clip my hair back as well. So we're gonna look like this for the makeup part of this video. Hey, that's pretty cool if I do so myself. I am going to be using the Blue Blood palette today. So these are all the beautiful colors that are on that palette. I don't exactly know what I'm doing, but I know I'm using this palette. So to start off, I'm just gonna go ahead and take Blue Blood itself and I'm gonna put it all over my lid because, so why not? All right, now I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. If you didn't get the hint, I'm probably dyeing my hair blue tonight. That's why I'm gonna go ahead and do my makeup so that it looks all cute when I do my hair later. Cause I think that'll be fun. I think blue will cover this green nicely and it's in the same kind of genre color area. You can't do like pink or red or anything, you know? But blue, for sure. 
just because my roots aren't even long enough for me to like want to do any kind of color remover to my hair. You know what I mean? I'm just gonna color over it and regret it later. So I'm gonna remember this day that I decided to do this. Usually, if I do my hair, I go blonde and then I color my hair so I don't have overlapping colors because it's gonna be kind of tough. But hopefully, when I do blue, it'll work out. I am gonna go ahead and put this underneath my eyeball because I just love that. We've established this already. <laughs> For all you new people that are joining me on this beautiful day, I am going to be doing under eyeshadow because I think it looks really, really cute. Some people think it makes you look sick. I think I like that look, so, you know, everybody's got their own little cup of tea. Now I'm gonna take this color called Colonin. Is that how Colon is spelled? No, Colonin. Colonin. Now I'm gonna take this color called Colonin and I'm gonna put it all in my like inside area and underneath my eyeball. I'm also gonna go ahead and take Colonin and put it in my brow bone so that when I do this next darker step, I don't fudge up and ruin having this color there. All right. Now I'm gonna do the same thing on this side and I will be back with you. Now that they kind of roughly look around the same thing, I'm gonna go ahead and take the color called Deceased and I'm gonna put it in the crease of my eyeball. Now I'm gonna take Blue Monday and I'm gonna put it right in the lid of my eyeball. And I'm gonna kind of blend that out so that I can get like a pretty little fade color. Cause there's a lot of different blues on my eye right now. That way you don't know what color I'm dyeing my hair. Now I'm gonna take this color called The Undertaker and I'm gonna put it in my crease just because I feel like it's not dark enough. Yeah, I think I like this already a little bit more. I think that's it with like the eyeshadow, damn. Now I'm about to take my blue eyeliner and I'm gonna do some pretty little wings. I don't know, I can't really see the, the wing. I'm sorry, I feel like it wasn't dark enough in like the middle of my eye so I'm taking this other one that I have. We are officially moving on from the wings. I'm about to go wet my beauty blender and I'll be right back. Alrighty, so I'm about to put my foundation on. You know the drill. I'm gonna beat the shit out of my hand for a second. We're gonna be reasonable now. Get a pretty big face. Okay, so now I'm about to do my foundation. There's so much beating on my face right now. Ba, ba, ba. You know what I mean? Like, there's so much going on. I don't know if you caught it in my last video, but I had these giant, like, knots on my face. I made a TikTok about it, but I, um, I ran into a shelf at my job. So that was really fun. Really enjoyed that. 10 out of 10. I would recommend it. Um, I think that everybody needs to run into a shelf every in one, you know, once in their lifetime. It has to happen to at least one person. Or everybody. Sorry. It's gotta happen to everybody, right? Yeah, thanks. I appreciate all the kind comments about that because I really messed myself up good. <laughs> I couldn't see for like a split second. I was like, whoa, I didn't even notice that I hit my face because I hit myself in the eye, like right. Oh. <laughs> We'll save that. You can go watch my TikTok if you're interested in it. So I've got some like marks on my face from where I went ham. I started picking my face and you know, said all the things you shouldn't be doing if you want to, you know, look good, but that's okay. I'm okay with that. I can handle the fact that I fucked up. I did, that was me. <laughs> yep. So now I'm gonna be taking all my concealer because I hit Pam, I'm trying to get as much out of this as possible. I'm gonna be putting it underneath my eyeballs kind of around my face because I've got a whole lot of blemishes right now. Right here for sure. Then I'm gonna do underneath my eyeball over here. I told you there's a lot of things that had to be done on my face. It was, it was, it was bad. I mean, it kind of still is bad, but you know what? It's okay. I'm, I'm okay with this. It doesn't look as bad as it did. So I'm happy with where we're at now. You know, this is not terrible. It ain't cute, but it's not terrible. Now I'm about to powder my face. You know, trust the process. This is where we're at at the moment. I'm about to do some contour. I'm gonna do my nose first because why not, you know? Or more like your nose, you know, let me stop. If I told you I didn't know how to contour my nose, would you believe me? I hope so because I don't know what I'm doing. Did that do anything? We'll come back to that, okay? I'm about to contour my cheekies. Now it's time to blush these bad boys. You already know, you already know NARS Orgasm. That's the one I use. It's the one that looks the best on my cheeks because it's the only blush I've ever used. I'm about to wipe off all my excess powder with this highlight brush because it's about time to highlight. But first, I just noticed I just noticed I need to do my eyebrows. So I'm just brushing them out with this brow gel stuff, you know? And I don't think I'm gonna do anything with them. I think I'm just gonna brush them out because I forgot about them. I guess they looked good to me. Hopefully they look good to you. I mean, it doesn't really matter, but I hope so. Cause 
I like your opinions, but I don't care if you don't like it. You know what I'm saying? If you do like it, I love that. But if you don't like it, I don't care. <laughs> I'm going back to highlight. I'm going to be doing this little guy. It's like a cream. And then I'm going to put the powder on top, which is pretty much what I do every single time. Every single time. Let's see if I can put highlight over that. Maybe I can make that look cool instead of like a little scar. We're gonna take more and put all on my chickadickies. You know, guys, I'm sorry. You guys already know I love highlight. This is gonna take a while. I don't know what I was thinking about recording this whole process because this is gonna be a long video, okay? It's gonna be a long video, and I, I'm. I think I'm ready for it. I think you guys deserve a long video. One that's all everything together. Why not? Why not? Now I'm just gonna take this brush and I'm gonna take the highlight that I have and put it all over where I just put all the highlight. Cause it was like my little base highlight. Yeah, we're gonna do it. I'm sorry. This is called Peacock from Lime Crime. They actually don't make this one anymore. So it's expired, but it's worth it. Yeah. Yeah, like I overdrew them a little bit. So I'm trying to match it, but I can't match it. <laughs> Stop. We're doing it. Fuck it. It's almost Halloween. You know what I mean? No. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. There's nothing stopping me. Who gives a fuck? I'm going to do it. So what am I waiting on? Lashes. So I'm just going to curl my lashes and do some blue mascara. No. Blue mascara. All right. <laughs> All right. Next eyelash. This is like been a long, a long makeup time. Hasn't it? I feel like it's been an hour. I've been doing my makeup for an hour. This eye's way harder for me right now for some reason. So if you met me right now, what would you say? Oh, hold on. Her, she's kind of cute, but like, my hair's a big poofy mess. I don't know how I feel about it, honestly. This is freaking me out. I feel like I'm already dressing up. I got my hair in a cute little bun so that I can not have to deal with that right now. I think I might cut some bangs. I'm doing a lot today. I think I'm gonna cut some bangs. So I am going to probably, I don't know. I'm gonna go figure out what I'm gonna have to do and then I will come back and dye my hair with you guys. Because it's only like 8.30 at night. We have a long time to do. I'm trying to wait until like later in the night so I can keep doing stuff, but yeah. You get the point. You get the point. I'll be back. So I have done. So a lot of things have happened since the last time you've seen me. I actually took a shower and I fixed up my makeup because I didn't. I didn't salvage it, okay, let's be honest. My mascara, it was gone. It's not waterproof, it was, it just disappeared. But now it's time to dye my hair. This is the moment um, I've been waiting for. I don't know about you, but I'm gonna be using Aquamarine and Poseidon. I've never used Poseidon before. And I'm going to pretty much just be redoing what I did beforehand. Aquamarine, Poseidon. Poseidon Aquamarine. Okay, did four sections and I'm, I'm having this moment. I'm gonna have it for longer than a week because my hair faded and it's all one color. Like it's all one color. I'm so upset, but it's time. It's time to start. Okay. I also kind of want to cut my bangs, but I don't know about all that. Geronimo. Oh my goodness. I'm nervous. Don't be nervous. It's gonna be pretty. It's always pretty. I'm good at what I do. You know what I mean? For some reason, I rock every color. I don't know if it's because I'm pale as fuck or what, but I have never had a color that actually looked bad. So, crossing my finger. And I'm also gonna have to change my camera battery. So we're gonna do that before it gets intense. I'll be right back. I just wanted to see if it would cover it. You know what I mean? That's what I'm testing right now. Cause I can handle the bottom of my hair being a different color than the rest of it for if it didn't match, but it does. So we are in luck. A little bit on my finger there and I'm gonna massage it into the end of my hair, you know? Have a little moment here. I don't know. This is really, I just do this a lot. I'm about to look like Violet from the Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, but I got gloves on. So, <laughs> my neck though, that might be another story. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to contain it. We shall try. I knew I had a piece that was just hanging on. Mm -hmm. This is about to be good. This is about to be fun. This is about to be an experience. I'm excited. I don't know. It's been a while since my hair's been blue. Blue is a color I tend to stay away from. Um, but you know, it's pretty and I'm, I'm right here for it. So we're going with it. Plus it'll cover my green and I won't have to do anything with my hair. So it's a win-win. This is a big ass section. I don't know what I was thinking. Oopsies. 
The most important thing when you're doing your hair, like I said in many, many, many videos, is that you just wanna make sure it's all saturated. Like I just did a giant section, but I'm just going in and I'm making sure that I got like the root of every little strand. And then I'm gonna move in and do everything else. And now it's time to do the tips. You see, it's simple. This process is super simple. It's so easy to do your hair at home. And honestly, it's not that hard to mess it up. If you mess up your own hair, I honestly think that you're just overthinking it because right now it's midnight, I think, right? and i'm just doing i'm just going with the motions yeah i've done this a thousand times right but even when i wasn't so for my very first color i actually did on my whole head like myself was blue and i did a bunch of blues actually for manic panic i took the darkest blue which i think was after midnight and i faded it all the way into atomic turquoise and like an ombre kind of thing and it was definitely a moment um i can pop up a picture right here but you can't really tell that it faded because i didn't do a very good job but that's okay it was the first time i ever did my hair like myself you know and the next time i did my hair i did pink and red and it didn't really work out and i just kept going so like even though it didn't look how i wanted it to it still looked good and people still were like oh you did this oh yeah it got, looks good and i just never stopped so that's what I have to tell you. If you want to do your hair, if you want to just like, I don't know, if this is something that you like watching and you want to try this out yourself, but you're just, I don't know, not ready to go about that life yet, I suggest just try it out. And if you don't like it, you know, Try a color that'll kind of suit your hair, kind of. Like with me, I had dirty blonde hair. I still have it. <laughs> what? I have dirty blonde hair. And so I chose to do blue because I knew in my whole heart that blue would cover it and that it would fade into like a green, which is something that I was very interested in. Um, I love green, but some people, you know, they don't like green and they couldn't imagine having green hair. So it really just depends on you. Like I said, the next color I did was red and that one faded really pretty into like a warm brown on top of my hair and then I bleached my hair so that's when it all went downhill for me because I just never I never stopped never ever and you guys were with me through that whole experience um by the way just so you know I don't know if you exactly know that because you might be like a new subscriber but all of those videos are private and I definitely plan on doing like a cute little watching my old videos video yeah like a cute little watching my old videos video video I don't know if that makes sense but it did in my head and when I said it a second ago so hopefully <laughs> it works I'm about to get everything out of this bowl and then I'm gonna pour some more color out and I think I'm gonna come back to you when it's this section because I don't want to just sit here and dye my hair the whole time okay so I got a little bit of the Poseidon on this side but I decided don't fret it's only a little bit and maybe it'll just make it look cool so I'm not gonna worry about it what I am going to worry about is getting this perfect. So I'm going to go ahead and do this line. That's why it's dangerous to only touch one side. But I want to make sure I get the outline done first. And then I'm going to go in strands. There's just so much going on. I'm really trying to stay focused right now because I can't get this blue onto the other blue parts. But I've already done it technically. So like it's not that big of a deal, but it is to me. I don't want it to happen any more than once. Oh my goodness. We are almost done. I wish you could see how much hair dye I have on my shirt right now. And I thought to myself, you know what? Blue hair dye can't mess up this blue shirt. Yes, it can. Yes, it can. <laughs> I'm gonna put on another pair of gloves and I'll be right back to start this side. The turquoise. But this is what we're looking like so far. I figured I'd give you a before I put on the turquoise. And then we'll do a you know, I'll dye it and then I'll do a finish reveal and then I'll do an actual finish reveal and then I might cut my bangs. This is a long video, but you know what? It's fun. We're having fun, aren't we? It's gonna be a long night. It's only midnight. I mean, it's 1.38 in the morning, but that's okay. We're having fun. I'll be right back. I'm gonna go ahead and get this front section out of the way because I did get some color on it and I want to see what I can do. Yeah, that's gonna be so pretty. I cannot wait. I really wanna do like some bangs. I wanna cut bangs in my hair. 
I've never had them besides like the emo fringe things. You know what I'm talking about. I had those when I was younger. I'm sure some of you guys remember, but like I want to do actual bangs now. I don't know. I think I'm going to go ahead and cut this and I'll come back whenever my hair is about to be washed out. How about that? Because I think um, I've been recording for a while now and are you still here? Yeah, you know what I mean? I'll, I'll see you in a second. So I decided I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what my hair looks like before I wash it out. This is the aquamarine, and this is Poseidon, and Poseidon, and aquamarine. And then I'm gonna see you guys in a few minutes. I'm gonna let my hair dry a little bit, and I'm gonna come back, cut my bangs, and yeah, we'll see where we go from there. It's only 2.11 in the morning, so we've got a long night ahead of us. I'll see you in a minute. What the fuck is up everybody? It's officially 3.33 in the morning and I, I don't want to cut my bangs anymore. You know, I think I'm going to start editing this video and then I'm going to record a few more videos for tonight, but I don't think, I think this one has a lot of, a lot of things have happened. I look like a whole new person, you know? So I think that I'm going to end it here. But I appreciate you guys so, so much for sticking around till the end. If you guys enjoyed this, you know what to do. You, you, you already know, okay? Thank you guys again so, so much. Stay rad, okay? Don't get abducted by aliens because that doesn't sound like fun. And you guys, have a great day. Bye-bye. So I'm popping in to go ahead and put this little at the end. These are my giveaway winners. And I've already mailed you your packages, but... Yes, congratulations to all of my winners. And next time, for everybody who entered and did not win, there will be a next time.